So in the previous video, we looked at the first fit algorithm. And in this video, we're going to use the first fit decreasing algorithm. We've got the same items, uh, but this time we're using first fit decreasing. The bin size has remained the same at size 20. Okay. Now, in an exam, um, what they could do is get you to, first of all, use a sorting algorithm to sort these into decreasing order. Okay, that could be a part A. And then you're going to use the first fit decreasing algorithm. Now, the only problem with that in this case is that we've got uh, repetitions of 8s and 7s. Um, so, and I can see a couple of 9s in there as well, a couple of 6s. So, uh, you wouldn't be asked to use a sorting algorithm on repeated values like that. Okay? So, let's say I first of all go through sorting algorithm. I get the computer to sort all these numbers into order. Um, so I'm going to write them down directly. So we've got H15 being the largest. Okay, so we've got that one done. Then we've got C14. Okay, we've got nines. Um, so nines are next. So it doesn't matter in which order I write them. So D9, F9. Okay, got those. Then we've got the eight, so we've got a eight. We've got another eight. Yeah, we've got K eight there as well. Okay, so we've got those sorted. Uh, then we've got the seven, so we've got B seven. We've got J seven, so they're gone. And then we've got the E six and the I six. And last but not least, we've got the G five. Okay, so now they're in decreasing order. Okay, right, that is really to help me out and make this easier for myself. So, again, we've got these items coming along on a conveyor belt. And each time I'm going to pick up the item and put it in the next available bin. And I work from bin 1 to bin 2, bin 3, bin 4. So it can't work, fit in bin 1, and it can't fit in bin 2, and it can't fit in bin 3, then it goes into bin 4. Okay, so I've got to work my way down the list until I get a bin that it fits in. So, the first item coming along is the largest, H15. So, bin 1, we're going to have H15. Okay, now over to the side, I'm just going to draw a line so that it's clear that these values aren't being considered. I've gone from a size of 20 but now H15 has been put in it, so now that's down to 5. Okay, So this allows me to just track how much space I've got left in each bin. Now C14 comes along, it's the next one. Now that doesn't go into bin 1 because I've only got 5 available space. So that's got to go into bin 2. So C14. And that means I've gone down from 20 down to 6. Okay, so I've done H and I've done C. Next one is D with 9. So that won't fit in bin 1 or bin 2. So I've got to go to bin 3. So D9. And a size of 20 has gone down to 11. So D's gone. Right, next one along is F. That's 9 as well. It doesn't go to bin 1 or 2, but it does go into bin 3. So I'm going to put F9 into bin 3. And so that brings my available space down to 2. Next one is A8. OK, so that can't go in bin 1, bin 2, or bin 3. So I've got to open up bin 4 now. So A8. Then I've got K8. Well, that's gone down from 20 to 12, just before I go any further. So K8 can go into bin 4, because it can't go in bin 1, 2, or 3. So that brings that down to 4. Right, then I've got B7 comes along. Well, it doesn't fit in bin 1, 2, 3, or 4, so I've got to open up bin 5. So B7 is going in there. So that's going from 20 down to 13. Right, next one along is J7. Now, that's got to go into bin 5. Can't fit in any of the previous ones. So that brings me down to 6. 
OK. Right. Now I've got E6 comes along. It can't go to bin 1, but it can go into bin 2, because I've got 6 available space there. So E6 is going in here. And that means that's gone down to 0. So that bin is saturated. Then I've got I6. Well, I6 doesn't go to bin 1, 2, 3, or 4, but it does go to bin 5 very neatly. So I6 is going in there. So that's now down to 0. So that bin is now saturated. And the last item is G5. That's the last item on my conveyor belt. And that can go straight into bin 1. So that brings that down to 0. So that bin is now saturated. OK, and so using the first fit decreasing algorithm, what I found is that uh, it's better than last time because this time I've only got six um, empty space. OK, so six wasted space. So total waste in this case is six units. OK, the two and the four that's there. So in this situation, the first fit decreasing um, was better for me. If these were five lorries, for example, uh, then I've managed to fit everything into five lorries rather than have to source another lorry, a sixth lorry, um, in order to get the job done. Okay? So this is how we do the first fit decreasing algorithm.